Hi Aquarius, this is your August 2017 love and relationship reading for mid-month. Now, the first card that I have for you is the Eight of Cups, okay? This symbolizes someone walking away from a relationship. Did someone walk away from a relationship, Aquarius, and you didn't expect it and you didn't see it coming, okay? I'm feeling like for some of you, you didn't. I'm just feeling like you normally... Um, argue with this person or you normally get into fights with this person but it's like this time they walked away for good from this relationship and you don't un understand why and the next word I have is the five of coins so you're feeling left out in the cold okay because they haven't given you an explanation as to why they left and I'm just feeling like this person blocked you um I don't want to say social media because that's not the message that I'm getting. I'm just getting that um, this person won't pick up the phone. Like they won't call you back. They won't accept your text messages. Um, they won't respond to you. Okay. And this is what's leaving you um, feeling like you're left out in the cold. Now, some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Okay. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Now, the next card that I have is the Seven of Swords. So I just feel like this person has been sneaky all along, Aquarius. And it's like you suspected something, but you didn't think that they were going to walk away from this relationship. Okay. Now, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, such as yourself. But nonetheless, you knew this person was being sneaky. It's like you felt it. Okay. Your intuition was telling you this. But you never suspected that they will just walk away and just leave you high and dry, you know, and leave you out in the cold like that. The next card that I have is the world card in reverse. So what you do need to know, Aquarius, is this relationship is not over. OK, this person will be returning because this cycle is not completed. OK, this world card is in reverse. When it's in the upright, it speaks of a cycle um, a completion of a cycle between you and a partner and a love relationship. Well, this card is in the reverse. Okay. So I'm just feeling like this person will be back, but do you want them back? Because what the hell, like you just walked away and you didn't say anything. Like you may continue to do, I'm just feeling like this person may continue to do this to you if you accept it. Okay. The next card I have is the six of coins. So I'm just feeling like you were being very generous with this person and they hurt your feelings because you were giving everything you had to this relationship. Okay. While they were slacking, you wasn't. So it's like the nerve for them to walk away. They got some nerve. Like you should have been the one walking away is how you feel. Okay. The next card I have is a high priestess. This card is telling you to trust your intuition. Whatever you're feeling spiritually, whatever like your gut is telling you, you need to trust that Aquarius because this is what's going to get you by. Um, this is what's going to um, help you move on. Okay. However, you're going to move on, whether you're going to um, leave this relationship or whether you're going to wait for this person to come back. I'm just feeling like, you know, your intuition is telling you to do something, but you may be ignoring it. Okay. The next card I have is the moon card. So I'm feeling like some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, okay? But if not, this card also speaks of intuition. So I'm feeling like your intuition is really talking to you, Aquarius. You know, don't ignore it. This card speaks of deceit, deception, lies, trickery, okay? It's like this person may have been um, doing something the whole time. And even though you thought they were being sneaky or you felt it, you didn't want to deal with it because you didn't have facts and you weren't sure, okay? The next card I have is the Three of Cups. So I'm just feeling like, you know, there was a three-way love relationship here. And this is why this person walked away. Because they walked away to someone else. But they'll be back. They're not going for good. But I'm just feeling like they have someone on the side. The next card that I have is the Ten of Cups. So you're going to wait for this person to come back because this is what you want from them. You want a relationship. You want a commitment. You want to marry this person but you're just waiting for them to get right okay now the next card that i have is a tree of life i don't see this card very often okay when i use this deck but for you aquarius is you got this card and i'm feeling like this tree of life card is just stating that you have been around the track and back with this person several times okay like you know you know the ins and outs of this person you know exactly how they move okay and it's like you feel like this is your soulmate so you're not ready to walk away from this person you're not ready to end this um you know 
partnership that you have with this person. You really feel like this can work if they get themselves together. The next card I have is the Ten of Swords. Okay, the Ten of Swords symbolizes you feeling done. You're feeling over it all at this moment, feeling betrayed. You're feeling stabbed in your back. It's like you're thinking about everything that this damn person has put you through. Hence the tree of life, okay? This tree of life just is saying that you've been through a lot. This is like a whole pinball system going on here where, you know, um, you've been through a lot with this person. And it's like, you're like, why do you keep hurting me? Like, who is it that you're running to? And I'm just feeling like some of you know who this person is that they keep going back to, okay? This person that they're telling you that they're not dealing with anymore, and then for some of you, I'm feeling like you may not know who this person is. And then for others, I'm feeling like it's more than one person. Okay. And that's just the message that I'm getting. Okay. And it may not apply to each and every Aquarius, Aquarius out there. But for those of you that it does apply to, I'm feeling like your partner has more than one person that they're dealing with. So it's like they're dealing with you, someone else, and someone else, and someone else. Because it's like they don't want to be committed. Okay. Now you see a commitment. You see a family situation with them. And they may see it down the, down the line, but they don't see that right now. That's not what um, the message that I'm getting like for some of them. The next card I have for you is the Six of Cups in Reverse. So for some of you Aquarius, I'm just feeling like this is someone from your past, okay, that you let come back in because this person told you that they were going to get themselves together, but they didn't. And then for others, I'm feeling like you're just thinking about when things were good with this person okay and you want that back but this is in reverse so i'm just feeling like you know you're not going to get that from this person right now it's like they're on a whole nother level okay the next one i have is the magician so the magician card just tells you aquarius you can manifest this situation to go exactly how you want it okay you just need to relax calm down get your thoughts together and see how you're going to move with this situation okay because if you want to keep this person in your life then manifesting and um a magician like a, a magic act might be what you have to do and i'm not laughing at your situation i'm just saying because i've been there trust me and sometimes you do you just have to calm down you have to think things through and just be like do i really want to stay with this person and wait for them to get their life together okay i'm just feeling like this is what some of you are going through the next card that i have is a three of swords so you're suffering from a broken heart okay and i have been there as well and it doesn't feel good when well, you're crying you're depressed you don't feel like eating you can't sleep okay you're texting this person they're not texting you back you're calling them they're not uh, returning your calls and then you see them posting on social media i don't know i'm just getting all types of messages with this card it's like you know they're breaking your heart in more ways than one and it's like you're questioning them like what the hell why are you treating me like this okay and who is this person or persons that you keep running to and what is it that you're getting from them that you're not getting from me and i'm feeling like a lot of you have that question with your partner the next card i have is a devil's card which speaks of transformation a need for change okay but feeling trapped so i'm feeling like a lot of you aquariuses out there are feeling trapped to your partner and if this is not you aquarius that's feeling this way this may be your partner that's feeling like this that they're trapped to you and they can't move on because they really care about you but you're not showing them the same kind of love right now okay so this is also the Capricorn card. So some of you may be dealing with the Capricorn, but if not, you know, you're just feeling like you're trapped with this person. Like you're feeling like you cannot move on no matter how hard you try to not call this person or think about this person is like, it won't work. This is all you think about. Okay. Is this person and the relationship that you want with this person. The next card I have is a tower card, major arcana big time some type of destruction okay um something shocking something unexpected and i'm feeling like this has everything to do with this person walking out of your life i'm feeling like this person walked away from you and you didn't expect it and this is where this tower card coming at and if it hasn't happened 
then it may be happening, you know, in the future. It may happen like this person may walk away to someone else. But like I said, I'm just feeling like they're going to return. Okay. I don't know what story they're going to give you as to why they just walked out of your life, you know, and didn't give you an explanation why. The next card I have is a death card. The death card in reverse. Okay. So this speaks of something not ending yet. So like I said, this person will be coming back because they have not totally ended this relationship it's just that they think that they can walk in and out and do what they want and you're going to accept it the next card i have is a five of wands so you're definitely in conflict with this person constantly i'm feeling like that's all you guys may do is argue and fight because this person wants one thing and you want another you want a commitment they want to play around the next card i have is a king of wands so i'm feeling like some of you may be dealing with the fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Horizon. And this person is very narcissistic. Okay. <laughs> this person wants things their way or no way. And it's like, if they can't get things their way, then they run. The next card I have is a Sun card in reverse. Okay. When this Sun card is in the upright, it speaks of someone being happy, being cheerful, being bright. This card is in the reverse. So you're just the opposite right now, okay? You're very sad. You're very emotional. Um, and you're just trying to figure things out. The next card I have for you, Aquarius, is the five, I'm sorry, the four of swords, okay? And this card speaks of losing sleep, just constantly in your thoughts, thinking about what went wrong, needing to um, focus on, and and try to figure out what you can do to make the situation better and if you look at this um this card like this sword is stabbed right through this person's heart so i'm feeling like you're going to sleep like this and you're waking up like this okay and like i said some of you could be dealing with an air sign libra gemini aquarius sun moon horizon okay but if not it's like you're constantly in your thoughts and you're losing sleep over this the next card i have is a lover's card in reverse okay this is the gemini card but it's in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini and it's like the love, you're just not feeling it. It's not, you feeling like it's not there anymore and you're worried and you're like, you know, is this person going for good? You know, do they not love me anymore? The next card I have is a two of swords. Someone, um, I'm just feeling like your partner doesn't know what they want. You know, this person has a blindfold on and they have two swords. And I'm just feeling like for some of you Aquarius, not for all, but this message is going to resonate different with each and every person because I read for thousands of people. But I'm just feeling like this two, two of swords has everything to do with them cheating. It's like they have you and then they have someone else and they cannot make a decision. And they just, you know, since they can't make a decision, who? because they want both. They want you and they want the other person. The next word I have is the hanging man. Someone just hung up over a situation can't move just stagnant just in suspense okay this is what this card symbolizes the next card i have is the justice card in reverse some of you may be dealing with the libra but if not you will not get any justice out of this situation anytime soon i'm feeling like this person needs to make a change for themselves and you can't help them they want to play around. They don't want to be serious right now. They don't want a serious relationship. They're having fun doing what they're doing, but it's not fair to you because they're breaking your heart um, while they're out there playing around. Yeah, see? The fool card. Fool card in reverse. This person is just out there doing any and everything that they want to do, not caring about what's um, going to happen or how it may be affecting their partner. The next card I have is the Page of Cups. This is a message card, but it also means that you could be dealing with a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But if not, someone has something that they want to say, but I'm just feeling like they're not going to say it because they don't. It's like the message that I'm getting from this Page of Cups person is like they want to tell you that they don't want to be committed, but they don't want you to leave them. Like, don't they got a nerve? Like, are you serious? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. That's just the message that I'm getting, Aquarius. But, like, how you going to tell somebody, I don't want to be committed, but I still don't want you to leave me because I don't want nobody else to have you. 
this one filling. The next card I have is the Hermit card. So some of you have just shut yourself off from the world. Like you don't want to be bothered with nobody or nothing. Don't call me. You know, unless it's this person that you're in love with that's calling you or texting you. You don't want to talk to nobody. You don't even want to be bothered. And some of you could be dealing with a Virgo because this is the Virgo card. The next card I have is a faith card. So this card is just telling you to have faith, trust the situation. It will work itself out, okay? I just don't feel like there's much you can do to push this person to grow up. The next card I have is a page of coins. Some of you could be dealing with a younger earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Like I said, you have the hermit card here, okay? Um, and I'm just feeling like this person needs to grow up and they're not. No time soon, I don't see it, okay? The next card I have is the Seven of Cups in Reverse. So it's like you have choices, but you don't want any of those choices. You just want this one person that, um, that has stolen your heart because that's what it feels like. It feels like somebody stole your heart and there's other people out there that want to be with you, but you don't even see them right now. Nope, you don't see them right now. Not at all. The next card I have is the Ace of Cups. So I do see a new beginning, but the new beginning that I see is that this person may come back around. Because remember what I told you when I told you this person is not gone for good? I just don't feel like they are. I am feel like they're going to come back around and you guys are going to start things all over again and try to make amends and make things work. And then I'm just feeling like they're going to be out doing the same thing again. I don't know. And the reason why I feel that way is because you have the Two of Cups in reverse. When the Two of Cups is in the upright, that speaks of a happy union, okay? Two people that love each other, that want to be together, that want to be committed. This card is in the reverse, Aquarius, okay? And if this is not you feeling this way, this may be your partner feeling this way. This might be vice versa, okay? Your partner may be feeling like you left them out in the cold and you're not responding to them. And they love you to death. But you're out there loving everybody else. Yeah. So this is the messages that I have for you this mid-month for August. Aquarius, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through. I just want to thank everyone who contacted me for a private reading. I really appreciate you supporting my channel. Thanks for coming to my channel and watching my videos. And I will see you next month. Bye.